Good afternoon traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and one of the questions that I get asked a lot is when's the best time to trade? Now generally speaking currencies trade 24 hours a day almost seven days a week and there are multiple pairs of currencies to choose from but there are six really important times a day that are critical to traders knowing uh, what's significant about these events. At 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the Tokyo market opens and at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Singapore market opens. So essentially, Forex trading follows the natural rotation of the planet. So as the sun rises, the Tokyo markets open up. Now, um, foreign exchange is not a, a building or a set exchange in one location, but it's an electronic medium between two counterparties, buyers and sellers. So when these markets open, currency trading can take place at those financial institutions and when we transition from one particular uh, sector of of the globe into another one at 3 a.m. the London market opens and that actually is the largest of the financial markets for currency trading and then handles in the area of 30 to 35 percent of the actual global volume for currency trading whereas the Asian markets are only roughly about 10 to 15 percent What's significant about when that opens and then transitions to London is that there can be a significant surge in the volume as institutions, companies, corporations, traders a lot more enter the market and therefore the number of traders taking new positions can, can be significantly larger which creates a lot of uh, possible sentiment change in direction but also a lot more volume and liquidity and activity in the markets. As the London market opens, 8 a.m. New York comes on board and again the same phenomena occurs. So that, that overlap between London and New York, now we hit our peak volume into the next two, three trading hours and as we go towards noon Eastern Standard Time, that is the actual close of the London market. So we'll see some of the volume start to decline and then as 5 p.m., 4, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. approaches Eastern Standard Time, that is the end of the New York session and that is when we'll see the volume significantly become thinner um, and that gap between 5 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time before Asia opens again it can be quite quiet, low volume, lots of choppy movement, uh, potentially a, a high risk time frame to be trading. So with all of this information traders can then establish and start to look for important time frames where the volume and, and activity in the markets are going to increase and therefore might be more opportunistic time to be in in the market uh, without seeing high volatility or as volatile times when there could be low volume uh, and, and much easier for the larger um, traders in the market to move that, the market uh, up and down. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, always apply your risk management rules, trade in your best interest, and may the markets go with you. I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Hi traders, thanks for stopping by and please feel free to leave a comment. And before you go, head over to StacyBurkeTrading.com. I create training and updates on a daily basis and I would love for you to get these. So just enter your name and your email address and you'll receive my free audio, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. And before you leave, leave a comment on Facebook and share with your friends.